A pleasant day to all. We are Group 8 and we are tasked to report about ceilings and acoustical materials. But before that, let us go through a simple walkthrough or outline of the contents of the report. Next slide. So we have here the introduction to ceilings followed by the types of ceilings with its definition, materials and its properties and its advantages and disadvantages. Next is the introduction to acoustical materials followed by its different kinds with its definition and advantages and disadvantages. Next is the actual examples of applied acoustics and lastly is the sellers based in the Philippines. So what are ceilings? Ceilings are overhead interior surface that covers the upper limits of a room. It is not generally considered as a structural element, but a finished surface concealing or hiding the underside of the roof structure or the floor story above. They have been favorite places for decoration from the earliest times, either by painting the flat surface or by emphasizing the structural members of roof or floor, or by treating it as a field for an overall pattern or relief. Next slide. Now let's move on to the types of ceilings. The first type of ceiling is the conventional ceiling. A conventional ceiling construction type is commonly found in houses. These ceilings have a standard drywall finish and are made of lower cost materials. Conventional ceilings are plain and flat and are usually between nine, eight to nine feet high and can fit with typical constructional material sizing. Next. Next, we have the suspended ceiling. A suspended ceiling, sometimes referred to as drop ceiling, hangs from a metal grid below the existing ceiling that is already in place. Commonly used with noise regulating acoustic ceiling tiles, these flat drop ceilings allow designers to conceal mechanical, electrical, plumbing, and lighting fixtures above the drop exposed ceiling, such as pipes and wirings. This ceiling variety can most commonly used in commercial buildings, offices, and retail spaces as suspended ceilings give designers remarkable flexibility. Most wood ceilings are suspended using standard commercial T-bar grids and are a cost-effective option. Next. Now we have the coffered ceiling. Commonly found in high-end homes, churches, libraries, and hotels, coffered ceilings reflect a classic, even lux luxurious aesthetic. Recognizable by its grid of inverted panels that are accentuated by molding, commercial wood coffered ceilings are typically designed to work with the standard T-bar suspension grids, helping to streamline the installation process. Next. Now we have the tray ceiling. Tray ceilings are multi-level ceilings. They start from one height and then drop as you add levels. As the name suggests, the ceiling layout resembles a tray. The flat ceiling on the outside of the tray surrounds the raised center, which is the highest part of the ceiling. Tray ceilings, also known as pan ceilings, become slightly lower with each added step or level that surrounds the raised center, creating a three-dimensional effect as the ceiling expands outwards. These ceilings can add a dramatic effect to a space and also make a room seem taller. Pan ceilings typically have two or three levels, with each level dropping between 5 to 11 inches below the level above. Next. Now, cove ceiling. A cove ceiling is typically found in formal rooms, theaters, or churches. The Vatican, for example, houses one of the most famous cove ceilings in the world. Forming a dome-like design, this concave ceiling has curved edges instead of sharp angles between the ceiling and the walls and is often built using curved molding or framing. The coves start from the top of the main wall and extend up to the ceiling itself. The round look of the dome ceiling makes the room appear softer and gentler. In addition to beautifying formal spaces, these ceilings can also serve as an art way to separate one room from another. Next. Cathedral ceiling. Cathedral ceilings are often found in large living rooms, dining rooms, bedrooms, and even the master bath. Cathedral or vaulted ceilings are known for their inverted V shape, where the tip of the V is the highest point and the sides of the V slope down. These high ceilings are made from a variety of materials. 
Linear wood is a great option to use, whether planks or panels, fasted each, either continuously or progressively. These ceilings consume a lot of energy, and if the angled frame is not wide enough, this will reduce the ventilation in the space. As a natural insulator, using wood for this ceiling variety can help regulate the temperature <clears throat> in your space and reduce energy costs. Next, shed ceiling. Shed or single slope ceilings are typically found in the top of the story of a home, either in the attic or the loft. Creating a distinct look for your room, a shed ceiling will begin at a high point at one wall and then slope down towards the opposite wall. In commercial architecture, the shed ceiling mirrors a shed roof structure. It also offers designers a great deal of flexibility. And lastly, beam ceiling. Beam ceilings are typically found in hallways and corridors for commercial settings and living and dining rooms for residential settings. Though considered as a contemporary style, it's actually a traditional ceiling form. Made primarily from the hardwoods or Douglas fir, beams give homes a plastic rustic look. When heavier load-bearing beams are exposed in the interior of the space, the natural wood provides visual variation from the rest of the room. In cases where load-bearing beams are not required, a copy of the beam is created using plywood and miters and it is used simply for its aesthetic appeal. Beam ceilings can be made to fit a range of styles, and that's it for the types of ceilings. Acoustica materials. So, Acoustica materials are a variety of foams, fabrics, metals, etc. used to quiet workplaces, homes, automobiles, and so forth to increase the comfort and safety of their inhabitants by reducing noise generated both inside and outside of those spaces. Acoustical materials are used in two major ways. Number one, as soundproofing, by which noise generated from outside a given space is blocked from entering the space and as a sound absorbing where noise generated within a space is reduced inside the space itself. Acoustical materials are commonly used in places such as the sound recording studios, uh, convention, convention areas, or other places which mostly generate sound or music that can distract or helps the, uh, the absorption of the sounds inside the space. Next, so the acoustical materials include the following, such as the sound absorbers. These materials eliminate sound reflections and are generally porous, with many pathways that redirect sound and cause it to lose energy. Typical sound absorbing materials are fiberglass, rock wool, open cell polyurethane foam, cellular melamine foam, heavy curtain blankets, and thick fabric wall coverings. Absorber materials do not substantially block sound, but absorption can enhance isolation by stopping air movement that would otherwise allow sound and noise to travel. Conversely, flexible non-porous barriers can act as low-frequency base absorbers. So these sound absorbers are like vacuums because its main use is to just absorb the sound and helps the sound reduce its intensity and also eliminate sound reflections. Next. So sound diffusers. These devices reduce the intensity of sound by scattering it over an expanded area rather than eliminating the sound reflections or an, as an absorber would. Tradition, traditional spatial diffusers, such as the polycylindrical or barrel shapes, also double as low-frequency traps. Temporal diffusers, such as binary arrays and quadratics, scatter sound in a manner similar to the fraction of light, where the timing of re reflections from an uneven surface of varying depths cause interference which spreads the sound. So if a sound absorber is, uh, the sound cannot reflect through the walls, the sound diffusers 
helps the the sound scatter its reflections. Next. Noise barriers. These materials are heavy, dense, and massive to prevent sound penetration. A common material is drywall, gypsum, or sheetrock. Thin materials with high sound blocking characteristics are lead foil and mass loaded vinyl. A sandwich of dissimilar materials such as 5 8 inch gypsum, 1 8 inch vinyl barrier, and a half inch finished layer of drywall will block more effectively than, our, than an equivalent thickness of drywall alone. More energy is lost as sound must change its speed for each different material. So noise barriers will help the will help you fun and you know, uh, noise barriers will help you not hear any sounds in for example if you're inside the house is that you will never hear any noise from the outside and if you are outside you will never hear any noise from the inside next uh, sound isolator these devices are resilient and prevent sound transmission through the structural steel or concrete of a building as well as its plumbing and air handling systems. Typical devices are resilient channel for drywall, isolation pads for floors, decouping hangers for ceilings, and special adhesives for walls to avoid the hard connections of nails and screws that often provide a sound path through otherwise effective sound insulation materials. These systems require diligent attention to detail in installing. So isolators are used to isolate the sound in the area. Isolator as you need to be playing to it so that it will not fail when it's you. Next. So for the benefits of acoustic materials, one is reducing volume. Be it the conference room, a lobby space, or the clubhouse, these types of places tend to be noisier than the rest because of having more number of people around at a given point of time. Using acoustic wall panels to decorate the interiors of these places can magically help reduce the volume of sound in the area. As a result, Multiple conversations can carry on with smoothly without much disturbance. Schools and hospitals can also opt for these soundproofing techniques to enhance working standards. Second, privacy. The best feature of soundproofing your house is that you no longer have to compromise on your privacy. It allows you to rest well by blocking noise from outside and also lets you make some noise or have a party without letting you disturb your neighbors. Sound absorbing curtains made from breathable fabrics are the latest innovation in the world of soundproofing. Besides homes, this can also be a great addition to spas, adding their glamour and quotient at the same time. Third, reducing echo and reverberation. The most commonly faced problem in large rooms with high ceilings is that of echoes. An echo creates multiple wavelengths of retracting sound waves that interfere with the conversations in the room. Furnitures, curtains, and rugs can contribute to a little in preventing echo formation to a small extent. But these are not enough to, do, to accomplish the job. Customized ac acoustic panels and wall tiles can be of great assistance. So for the fourth one. Improved sound quality if you own a home theater, you must install some indoor acoustic foam panels to give a maximum sound output of the best quality. These are also helpful when installing in music recording studios, libraries, conference rooms, and meeting decks in the offices. So for the number five, 
is avoid health-related issues. A very common health problem nowadays is hearing impairment caused due to the overexposure to loud sounds above the normal level. Soundproofing is an effective way of avoiding hearing loss problems. Apart from that, there are many other non-auditory health effects of sound, such as sleep disturbance, stress, cognitive impairment, annoyance, and heart diseases. Number six is greater productivity. Loud noises can tend to distract people easily and kill their product at the workplace and even at home. Effectively reducing the noise by getting in a good number of soundproofing curtain room dividers goes a long way in improving productivity and efficiency. Number seven is enhancing interpersonal conversations. Loud noises at common public places such, like, such as restaurants, shopping malls, hospitals, gyms, etc. can be a huge turnoff for people who need to engage in conversations with others. Having freestanding acoustic panels in large open spaces can help absorb excessive sound waves and make the place less noisy and enjoyable, while decorated panels also add to the decorative cushion of these places. Lastly is respecting the laws. Considering the increasingly negative impact of loud sounds on the general well-being of people, many countries around the world follow strict protocols that restrict noise above a certain demark level. A normal human being can bear sound up to 120 decibels. Anything beyond this limit is considered as noise and hence it is prohibited to cross the mark. So we will now proceed to the examples of commonly applied acoustics. So I will be stating examples of commonly used acoustic ceiling materials from left to right, top to bottom. So firstly, this is a fabric acoustic ceiling used mainly for offices. The next is also a sound absorbent acoustic ceiling also used for offices. These are used because the employees are employee numbers are prevalent, so sound absorbers would be a much more appreciated material in this manner. The third one is a cloud acoustic panel. It is foam-based, used for decorative purposes in offices, conference rooms, etc. Next is a suspended wood acoustic ceiling. There's a these are commonly used in modern stores, hiding the structural framework above, whilst providing a sound absorbing qualities to avoid noise colors in the vicinity. Lastly, is the cloud ceiling. Its materials is dependent upon its function in restaurants. It will also have materials with properties of sound absorption. This is also used as a light manipulation for certain establishments. So we will be moving on to the last portion of this report, sellers based in the Philippines. First one is the Globe Home Interior Cebu Construction Supply. This is located at the Globe Home Interior, Lopez Aina Street, Mandawi, Cebu, Mandawi City, Cebu. Next is the Ultra Patrol Interior Supply Corporation, Cebu. Located in the H HVG IT Park, Mandawi City, Cebu. Next. Cebu Oversea Hardware Company Incorporated, located in the 82nd Plaridel Street, Cebu City, Cebu. Lastly is the Trimar Construction and Trading, RM Business Center, RM Business Center, A. Borbajo Street, Cebu City. So that has been Group 8 Ceiling and Acoustic, acoustic Materials. Thank you for listening. And we hope that you will have a good day. Thank you.